right. All right. So we're <laughs> today we're going to be talking about malware bytes. We're here at the office, so forgive me. There's there's a lot of people here, so we're going to talk about malware bytes. That's the f our favorite program to use to clean out malware, viruses, um, you know, different things, and also to keep your computer protected. So if that's something you're interested in, the first thing that you're going to want to do is download malware bytes. Uh, the way you do that is go to your browser, type in malwarebytes.org. So it's M A L W A R E B Y T E S dot org. And then, as of right now, this is the way the website looks. Go ahead and click on download now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and download this real quick. And you'll see that um, down here and this is this is using Google Chrome so you hit save and that's it it's downloaded go ahead and run the program if you're using Windows 7 it's probably going to ask you for permission go ahead and hit yes um, choose your language hit OK hit next accept the agreement next keep clicking next next and then if you want to choose an i keep an icon on your desktop go ahead and click that um, I'm gonna uncheck that hit next and then do the installation okay keep both of these checked one is to update and the other one is to launch malware bytes so it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's going to download the most recent definitions, so it'll keep your computer clean. There are new viruses being created, you know, on a daily basis. Every hour, there's probably a new virus, so um, it's important to keep your stuff up to date. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll probably want to do a uh, an initial scan, so you can do a quick scan with malware bytes here. So you just choose perform quick scan and hit scan. Okay. So I'll show you how to do that scan in a second. Another thing I want to talk about is the difference between the free version and the full version. The difference, main difference between the free version and the full version is that the free version will allow you to do scans and allow you to remove viruses. So that's that's great. And for most people that's you know that's all they need if if you have an infection or if you want to check it regularly but for me what what I prefer is I like to have the resident module and that requires that you purchase the program and the great thing about it is it's only twenty four ninety five for the program so it's very inexpensive um, you know it's for a lifetime so you don't have to pay for it every year uh, basically what it'll do is it'll protect your computer on a regular basis so It'll allow you to go ahead and click on Enable Protection Module. Um, one of the things that I also like to do uh, with the with a full version of Malwarebytes is to schedule automatic settings. So, one of the things I do here is I schedule an automatic update. So, what you're going to do is hit Add. Hit. I already have one here, so I'm just going to edit this one. The frequency I'm going to I'm going to have it done hourly. So every hour, I wanted to go and find the newest um, definitions. Okay, I usually um, keep this unchecked. I don't want the computer to wake up if I have a laptop. I don't want it to wake up every time. And I'm also going to uncheck the show tool tip balloon. I don't want to have to see it whenever it does an update. It kind of just does it in the background. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to hit add, and I'm going to add one more thing to the schedule, which is an, a scan right and what I like to do is I like to have a daily scan usually really late at night when I'm definitely not going to be using the, the computer so you might want to do the same thing so I'm gonna schedule for let's say 3 a.m. 3 a.m. okay I keep it as a quick scan and I'm gonna also choose wake computer from sleep to perform tasks so usually I have my computer sleeping what will happen is uh, malware, malware bytes is supposed to turn on the computer run the scan and then of course go back to sleep afterwards 
So it depends on how long you have it set to go to sleep. So if you have it set, let's say, to go to sleep after an 30 minutes, it'll turn on at 3 a.m., it'll run the scan, and then after 30 minutes it'll turn off. So what you're going to want to do is schedule a time, choose quick scan, wake computer from sleep to perform task, and then choose perform scheduled uh, scan silently from system account. I like to choose remote, remove and quarantine all threats automatically. Um, and that's basically it. I don't keep these checked, save log files, um, because I think it automatically does that. And then restart the computer if required for threat removal. I keep that unchecked in case I'm doing something else and I don't want the computer to restart. So I'll keep it like that. Hit add. And that's basically it. That's how you set that up. Now to set up. Um, a quick scan you know what you'll probably want to do if you know that your computer is really infected then go ahead and do a full scan and then choose all of the drives that that you have so if you have external drives you're gonna choose the you know whatever those drives the corresponding drives are but if you just want to do a quick scan once in a while another thing that's so if you want to do a quick scan sorry if you want to do a quick scan just choose quick scan and then it'll just basically you know run through um, the most common places where malware hides. Um, this is also good, perform a flash scan. So if somebody gives you a flash drive, a lot of times they their flash drive might be infected, so you can plug it in, perform flash scan, and it'll actually scan the flash drive. Okay. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick scan. Alright, so you choose quick scan, hit scan. I'm going to pause this and I'll come back and see if it finds anything. Alright, so it finished the scan. And um, it says the scan completed successfully, no malicious items were detected. So awesome, my computer is clean. If you do find something, if uh, malware bytes find something, then you're gonna, it's going to show you a different screen. That's pretty much it. That's how you use malware bytes. Uh, down here, I'm gonna include a affiliate code for you to be able to um, to be able to purchase malware bytes, and then they give us a little cut. So that'd be nice if you if you wanted to do that. So anyway, hope that helps you.